If you code in Python, you need to use an IDE. Now you might use an IDE like idle or VS Code, <coughs> but other, another very popular one is PyCharm. And so you might be wondering, well, PyCharm has two versions. There's a free version and there's a professional version. As you can see here, the professional version is quite expensive. £94 for a year. You can get this for free with their student plan. So if you look up PyCharm student free license, there should be a free educational license link from JetBrains. I'll also put this in the description. And all you want to do is select apply now and just say you're a student, your email address, but make sure it's the one from your school. So your university email address, or if you don't have one, then you might not be accepted for this. Once you've applied, you should be given you should sign up for your account and then you'll have a free license. Then the second thing that you want to do is you will want to install PyCharm. The normal way of installing it, the last time I did that, it came with bloat. I'm not sure about now, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to install it without all the bloat. Now to install PyCharm, we're going to use something called Scoop. Now Scoop is, as it says here, a command line installer for Windows. That means you'd have to go into your command prompt or PowerShell and then type a command. So this just means that you install just the thing you want and it removes all bloat. And then if you want to remove the thing you want, it will also remove all the components that is connected or linked to it, which is very useful. So you're going to want to go to the link in the description, scoop.sh. And there are two commands here. The first one you might not need to do. So I'd skip this unless you get an error. You want the one that starts with IRM. Go to your search bar and type PowerShell. Press enter and paste it with control V in there. And I try and run it. It says scoop is already installed. Run scoop update to get the latest version. So that's perfect. If you do get any kind of error with this, you're going to want to run the set execution policy and you're going to copy it and with control C or right click copy, paste it in here. And then you're going to want to replace current user with the name of your user on this device. That is, so if you go to your file explorer, that is this PC local disk. So your C drive users, and then it should be here. As you can see, that's my one there. So I don't need to do that. I've already got it installed. Now that you've got scoop installed, you're going to want to do scoop bucket list. And your bucket list is going to have to match mine. When I installed it, I only had main. So you're going to have to do scoop bucket add extras. It says it already exists. And then scoop bucket add versions and I already have it. Once you've done that you can actually install PyCharm. So you want to do scoop search PyCharm and it will search the entire database for PyCharm. So you've got versions bucket and extras bucket. Uh, you've got both of them. I would go for the early access program mainly because I, I just, you know, you get new features sooner and you want to go for PyCharm Professional. That's important. So copy that with control C and then do scoop install PyCharm Professional. It will update scoop first and then it will install. I'm not going to install it because I have it, but you'll have to run through that. Once you've got it, you can just look up PyCharm here. And you've got it, PyCharm Professional. You're going to have to sign in first, but once you've signed in, it's easy. You've signed into your account and you've got it there. You can also, there's a bunch of things like plugins and stuff, but you can create a piece of code 
and then just run it with the uh, little thing there. Boom. So as uh, simple as that. Hope you can use this.